Welcome to First Squadron, First Squadron r -Pass Flight School. First we're going to take a look at the AuraPilot.ca website. Here you'll find our opening page and from there you can navigate to Courses and Flight Ops. Flight Ops is designed to have all the manuals and resources you require as a professional drone pilot. So let's take a look at Flight Ops. Now the first lecture we're going to have is on which is the Nav Canada interactive map for TC Canada for flying drones. Now if we take a look here you can see a map of Canada comes up. It's quite scaled out. Now you can scroll in by holding down the control key and your scroll wheel or you can just click in the information of the site that you're going to. So we'll just take a look here and we're going to type in for this case Nanaimo because first squadron is in Nanaimo. So here we go and we'll just close that out. See now we're in Nanaimo here and you can see the zones that you require different licensing. So let's take a look at the red zones here. If you scroll over, you can see that this is an airport, Long Lake, which means it's air traffic controlled and that there are prohibitions from flying in this area unless you have approval and an advanced license. If you had a basic pilot license or pass license, you may not fly in this area. The yellow is basically cautionary. It means that there are aerodromes in the area and that you should watch out for aircraft. It does, mean, does not mean that you're prohibited from flying. You can see here there's some other, as we take care of here, it tells you here, aerodrome and drone operations are permitted within the three nautical mile zone indicated by the yellow filled circle. Caution is advised, however, due to potential seaplane traffic. Operations when other aircraft are present are strongly discouraged. So, what's the uh, result of that? That means, yes, you can fly in the yellow areas, but exercise caution. And as you can see, we come down here, you just roll over, you can see the airport that's involved here. So that would be the airport that you would have to contact. And of course, some operations require an SFOC for these areas. And there's another airport here. So if we did want to do some flying, we can see here that we have Class G airspace out in here. Now during a flight review, if you're doing your advanced, would one of the questions might be what class of airspace are you in? And we'll get into that later in a future lecture. So that's the interactive map. I suggest you check it out. As you can say, you can get to it from the AuraPilot.ca website. So that concludes the lecture on the TC Canada interactive nav map. Your assignment is to create a drone map of your location, your city, you intend to fly. Info at orapilot.ca. Thanks. See you next time.